What's good, everybody? You already know what it is. I'm Sean Way. This is Church Music and Tech. Man, and I I got to show y'all something. This is crazy. Um, so as you can see, I've had the privilege to partner with IK Multimedia to demo some of their applications. And this one by far may be my favorite. I'm just saying it's crazy. So a lot of you know, I use a lot of hardware when I do production, uh, like my Krumar Mojo, like my Nord Stage, like my RD800, my Fender Rhodes sitting over there looking nice and pretty. And I love it. Some other people use only software. I don't use only hardware, but you know, your workflow is your workflow. The thing about it for me is, it's harder to get an organ solution. Even with my Krumar Mojo, uh, the Krumar Mojo is amazing. It sounds great. Um, I have a preset loaded in there that emulates the A100. Uh, the thing about it is, is I don't really like the sound of the Leslie. The Leslie simulation is less than amazing and I don't like it. So I've partnered with IK Multimedia to demo some of their products, including this product that I'm getting ready to show y'all. If you follow the channel, you know I sometimes use Logic's organ to cut organ on a track. It's easy, it's cool, it's crazy. The thing about it is, is Logic is not my primary DAW, so if I'm recording something in Pro Tools, then I have to go out of Pro Tools into Logic, copy the MP3 file, cut to that, bring it back into Pro, it's a hassle. It's a big hassle, um, and I didn't have a Leslie solution in Pro Tools. But now, not only do I have a Leslie solution, which we'll talk about in another video, but I have an organ solution, and that's this iPad app. It's crazy. It's called B3X, and it's by IK Multimedia. It's super dope. If you saw the video, did y'all see the video? The, the, the last video, did y'all see it? Of me playing organ on this iPad? Now, I know a lot of you are looking at that video and y'all are saying, well, you did it with your Krumar Mojo. Nobody has a dual manual organ. I mean, come on, bro, we ain't got that. So what I wanna to talk to you about is cost effectiveness. I want to show you the setup that you can use in your own studio or even church setup if y'all can't afford an organ or y'all just don't have an organ and you need the organ sound for maybe a song or two, all right? Um, so what I have here, I have my iPad, the iPad Pro 2018. I have my dongle from, uh, or hub, you can call it a hub, from Sateki. Um, and I have my brother, let me use his M audio code 49. Now these keyboards are no longer in production, but M audio with a lot of other brands make amazing controllers. So I'd say go out to sweetwater.com and find you a controller. Um, just make sure that the controller has nine faders and I'm going to tell you why. So I'll try to be quick with this. I'll show you how I set this up, um, to work with this code 49 to where it works. If you can see with all the draw bars, all of them, y'all. The Leslie works with the modulation wheel. And I even have a little expression pedal under here that works as well. So IK Multimedia is genius for this. And they're genius for this, not because they've set this up, but because they've set this up on the iPad. Now, this app is available on Mac OS uh, as a standalone or as a plug-in, and it's super dope. But to have this functionality on the iPad as well, it's the same exact app. So let me show you how I did it. I went here, uh oh, I went here to my settings and here you have MIDI controllers. Now, if you know anything about MIDI messaging, MIDI messaging is only digits, essentially. You can dial it down to digits and each controller um, has a number that it tells whatever you're controlling, this is what's happening. So for my expression pedal, I changed the expression pedal to seven. Okay. So it's telling my keyboard, he's accessing the expression pedal. It's on number seven. All right. So turn number seven up and down based on how he moves this expression pedal. I'll keep you posted. All right. This is how it does it. So, and that's when you see these values moving to zero to 127. I talked about that in another video and it's talking to the organ and it's saying, Hey, all right, so y'all got that. Now you can update this to where when your controller tells you, hey, he's accessing a fader, hey, she's accessing another fader, you can tell it to move which draw bar you want it to move. I'm gonna tell you how to do that. It's super easy. Um, all you have to do is find the corresponding number to this draw bar, okay, to this fader, all right, to connect it to the draw bar because you have the draw bars listed here, so you wanna make sure that you have the corresponding number to that. All right, so you like Sheridan. How do I find the corresponding number? I don't know what it is in this keyboard. And my key, my 
and my controller isn't a big fancy controller that has a big screen that tells me anything. It has a little bitty screen and it just tells me, it just has numbers on it. I don't know what it's doing. I'm gonna tell you how to do that. So I installed on my iPad, a iPad app called MIDI Wrench. What MIDI Wrench does is it tells you not only what channel, uh, what MIDI channel or what MIDI communication and value is being sent to whatever device or communicated from whatever device, but it also tells you the number corresponding with that. All right. That might not have made sense, but let's talk about the expression pedal. Since I was talking about the expression pedal before I'm moving the expression pedal. Now you see what it's doing. You, and you don't have to pay attention to the channel volume MSB, but it's telling me what it's saying controller number seven. So then I'll go over here and y'all, excuse me. I have this and I have this open with another app and I'll tell you about that in a second, but I'll go over here and I want my expression pedal. So I'll just tap on that and I'll make it seven. Of course you can see I've already done that here. So let's do this again. Let's move the first fader. The value is 118. So I'll go back here. It's probably adjusted on the screen and I have to move it back. <laughs> and for upper draw bar one, 118, I'll just change it there. Now, if you see here, it says inverted. The reason being is because, and I'll show you, let me turn the inversion off. Let me go back to the organ. You see how I'm pushing up, but it's pushing down but the draw bar is coming down. I'm pushing the fader up. The draw bar is coming down. I want it to be a more natural, a more natural motion. So I have it inverted and then it does what I'm doing. All right. Now you can do that with each one of these functions on the organ. Once you get it set up, you're good to go and everything is working fine. Now I encountered a glitch. I'll show you guys that. I'm trying to figure that out. I don't know what that is. It only does it on this keyboard. Maybe it's just subject to do that on this keyboard. It's not really that big of a deal. And the reason why I say that is because again, if you're in a situation to where you need an organ and you don't have an organ, this is going to work out. And it's not as expensive as buying a big old huge organ, having a Leslie doing the maintenance and all of that stuff. And it sounds good enough to cut with. I do it all the time. So yeah. This is crazy, but that's all I got for you today. This is the cheaper way to set up. I'll list all of the items that I'm using here in the description, but I promise that's all I got for you on this. We're going to come back. I'm going to show you some more stuff on this app. We'll work with the computer app and I'll show you some more of those crazy apps that IK Multimedia sent me like that Leslie app, man. It's phenomenal, but you already know what it is. I'm Sean Way. This is Church Music and Tech and we out of here.